Is the winter a terrible time to sell a home? We'll talk about that today on Frequently Asked Friday. What is going on, party people? Thank you guys for tuning in. In this video, what we're gonna be talking about is the age-old question of is the winter a bad time to sell a home? Let's jump into it. All right, so let's 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 address the elephant in the room. Uh, conventional wisdom is, hey, you don't wanna sell your home in the winter if you don't have to because it's colder, the azaleas aren't blooming, uh, there's snow on the ground, there's less buyers out, you're not gonna get as much money, there's not you know, as much transacting going on, and therefore it's a bad time to sell. So what I wanna do is not give you my opinion, but actually show you some data. So what I'm gonna share with you in this graphic is a month supply of inventory graphic, which basically, month supply of inventory is a simple metric that we track uh, that is a barometer whether or not we're in a buyer's market or a seller's market. If the number is lower, we're in a seller's market. If the number is higher, we're in a buyer's market. And if you look at the data over the last three years in our Central Virginia multiple listing service, this is straight from the MLS, you will see that the month supply of inventory is the lowest in the winter for the last three years. It was the lowest point in the year. So meaning that it was the most favorable time, or the winters were the most favorable times to a seller to be selling a home in the winter for the last three months. So sorry to interrupt the video that you're watching, but if you would ever want a no hassle, no obligation market analysis to find out what your home is worth in today's market, or maybe you wanna chat about the home selling process, or maybe even wanna chat about the home buying process, feel free to call or text me at the number below, or you can email me at chris at elliotreteam.com. I'll let you get back to the video. And you might be asking yourself, hey, Chris, how is that? Like, that doesn't make sense. How is that the case? So here's what happened over the last three years. We did, yes, we saw less buyers in the marketplace. We saw less buyer demand in the winter time because, you know, holidays or whatever people gave up or they didn't want to be moving in the winter. And that's fine. But what we also saw is we saw seller supply dropped in the winter and it dropped more so than buyer demand. And at the end of the day, what drives pricing, what drives you know, the market is supply and demand dynamics. So if seller supply drops more so than buyer demand, then it becomes a more favorable time to be uh, selling a home because there's less folks that have their homes on the market because they're following conventional wisdom of, hey, I don't want to be selling in the winter, or they just simply don't want to you know, have their home on the market you know, when the weather's colder, they don't want to be interrupting the holidays. And over the last three years, it was shooting fish in a barrel during the winter months. And I can tell you that from anecdotal experience, we had some great results for clients in the winter months because simply for the folks that were out there looking at homes, we were the only show in town. So is it a bad time to uh, sell a home in the winter? I would reframe the question of let's look at the data and let's see when it's the most favorable time to sell a home based on the data. Hope that answered your question. If you have any remaining lingering questions, concerns, thoughts, fears, throw it in the comments, shoot me a DM. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Look forward to seeing you next week.